Hello, readers 2.0. This is where I'm going to talk to you about the five zones of reading. For all of you in path one, this will be very, very, very helpful because it will help you identify how do you build a routine of reading. And only when you, that routine gets repeated number of times, there's no particular date to it, but number of times the repetition makes a habit out of that routine. So here we are building a habit of reading. But all of it starts with a routine. And this five zones of reading will help you identify what time slot you need to identify to read books and before that articles. You can apply the same concept to other habits that you're trying to build. But at this point of time, let's just stick to reading. Now five zones are start of the day, transitioning from X to Y. So if you're from transitioning from personal life to being a professional. So if you're going from home to work or logging in from home uh, for your office work, that's transition zone. Third is midday, whatever is like, this is where I'm recording this video. So this is technically the midday, whether it's a weekday or weekend, middays are middays. Fifth, fourth zone is transition from Y to X. So you're leaving your work, traveling, commuting back home, or you're logging off from your laptop at home and now transitioning back to your personal life, personal self. And last but not the least is the end of the day. Most of it is when you're trying to, you know, complete the backlog items or just winding it down so that you can fall asleep uh, or watch, get some entertainment stuff. So that is the end of the day zone. So these are the five zones of reading. Now, before I talk about what and when to read and how it could be identified, let's talk about the energy game here. If you have read the article of uh, Friday, the it's all about the power, energy management. Most of us try to manage time and in trying to do so, many of us do fail around. Um, time management is quite straightforward, but the application is not very straightforward either. So we try to end up trying to do things at the wrong time. So um, if suppose you're trying to read a dense book, a very dense book on say death, and you're trying to read at 10, 10, 30 in the night, you're already low on energy and you've chosen a topic which will set you wrong for the remainder of the night. Maybe you might not fall asleep so quickly because your thoughts would have wavered somewhere. Now, my zones of reading emerges out of the energy. You match the exercise that you're trying to do with the energy. So if you're trying to read a non-fiction stuff, so non-fiction book or non-fiction articles, which will be part of the first three weeks, part one of the path one journey, um, you are predominantly going to read non-fiction stuff. So try to match the energy. When you're higher energy, you can tackle uh, dense stuff, intense stuff a lot easier than when you're low on energy. You're tired. You already had a long day at work. Maybe stuff happened at home. Maybe the commute back from office was not good or things happened at your home, which you're not, you know, you're already tired and now you're not really in the mood to read stuff. And now you've been given an article, say, colors. You've been given an article of scissors. You will be like, why do I want to read this? You'll not be appealed to it, enthused by it. So uh, the energy is a key. So now if I go back and talk about the five zones of reading, when you've woken up, you have the entire day for you. And this is where most of the habits do get built. Uh, writers, people who are very, very fit, uh, they all have the start of the day conquered with their uh, habit. But I'm not talking about cramming in four or five different habits. You can't meditate, write, read, uh, affirmations, exercise, all in one hour. You're trying to then burn yourself out in the first hour. That's not the point. But start of the day is you wake, wake up and then instead of trying to read frivolous things or going on social media, which is what most of people do, you are reading quality stuff. What is the quality stuff I'm sharing? First three weeks, the articles. And after that, forget the article. Keep the phone aside, just open the book and read the chapter. So glance on the group, what portion do I need to read and read that. You're starting your day. So now when I say starting of the day, it doesn't mean just when you wake up, you open the book. That's also not right. You, you don't really come out of the sleep mode itself. So give yourself the normal freshen up and stuff. And then you get on with the activity, which is the routine you're trying to build. The second part, transition from X to Y. So many of us try to do this and this is where uh, Saturdays and Sundays could be a bummer because you're you're uh, you're linchpinning your activity to the transition element. But it's still a good time because you are on a commute instead of randomly scrolling on the social media when you're commuting, which is what most people do. 
you are reading quality stuff you're thinking you're engaging you might say that yes my eyes might hurt hurt if i'm reading in the commute but you are any which way on social media at the same time and you're reading stuff on social media watching stuff on social media your eyes won't get strained by that think about it and many people give this argument to me this is not the first time i'm li listening to this i do not want to read and when i'm in the cab because my eyes will get strained yeah you spend an hour watching what uh, stuff on you know otts wouldn't it get strained at that point of time so this transition can be utilized a little better maybe you give yourself 15 minutes of reading in your hour long commute in india most of the commutes are 30 minutes and plus so give yourself 15 minutes of reading think and then give yourself some more joy of you know if you did your stuff now you celebrate it by maybe watching a quick 10 15 minute video on youtube or ott whichever ways you you know need to up that's zone 2 transition zone if you're not computing working from home even better instead of opening the laptop right away you tell yourself that i am going to read the article and then only i'm going to read open the office laptop this ways you will be conditioned and transitioning it, uh, from you know being a personal self to your professional self midday midday is you know this is where you're maybe probably going for lunch or you know you've got a little tired you want to give yourself a little bit of a break this is where you read the article and give yourself good engagement than being on social media and stuff because that's when we are likely or you want you've got tired and you're not even feel like reading then be on social media but Midday is a good time to still uh, have good energy there. Perhaps you can read right after having lunch. So your energy is still high uh, because of the uh, carbs that have gone in. And then you've not, the sleep has not kicked in yet. So immediately after lunch, you can take those 10, 15 minutes and read that. Um, read a book as well. In fact, if you read a book in front of your colleagues as well, who knows? They might, you know, appreciate you. They might Some of them will mock you because, hey, it's their insecurities playing here. They can't read, so they don't want anyone else to read. So what else happens? Everyone is on either social media and stuff. What's the point there? So um, but you find a midday there. The midday could also be your 4 p.m. snacks, breaks at home as well, or maybe at work where you have taken a little bit of time away from desk and you can quickly read. Uh, and I do that. Uh, I love that 4 p.m. time slot to quickly read because I've gone past that sleep zone, 2 to 4 p.m. zone. I've had that coffee, which has also kicked in or tea, whichever way I feel like drinking. I don't have this preference either. And then I'm uh, reading uh, from a book. You can do the same. Read the articles in part one and then replace it with uh, books when you read, uh, get to them in part two and part three. Coming to zone four, transition from Y to X. So you're leaving your work, commuting back home or you're, you know, getting done from your laptop. Most of us at this point of time, this is where 6 p.m. time kicks in. This is where most of the people, I create a lot of content. So I know most of the content creators upload the content because this is when majority of the people are online. 6 to 7 to 8 p.m. is when the peak traffic hits social media. Now, why is that the case? Because we are done with work. Now, what do we do? Give ourselves a little bit of you know dopamine rush. How do we give ourselves a little bit of dopamine rush? By going on social media, uploading content, watching content, uh, being on OTT and stuff. So now this is where most of the commute back home or transitioning from personal professional life to personal life just gets spent on social media. See, social media is not bad, but if we overuse it, then it's it's not going to give us any favor. Even LinkedIn for that matter, that's where most of you have found me on. If you read a lot of content on LinkedIn, they're just like Lay's packets of chips. If you open that packet, you'll only get air inside, not the chips. Even my posts, they are not dense. They are not really intense. At this point of time on social media, I can only talk about one thing, but just it has to be very, very bare minimum. I can't go at length because no one is reading. This is what most of the content creators are putting stuff online are also doing. So you're basically getting a lot of packet of chips. You're reading, perhaps, yes, it might influence you, great, but don't overindulge either. So how do you do that? Maybe you could read the article that is pending because you've already had it in the back of your head. You know Aniket has posted this article. You have signed up for this program. So first tackle that. So you know, uh, eat the frog that I've mentioned. Eat the frog right after your work gets over uh, when you're commuting. Give yourself those 15-20 minutes to read, think, th and maybe perhaps write 5-10 lines. Uh, or maybe one or two lines. There's no limit. You don't have to follow others as well. If someone like, like X is writing 10-15 lines, you don't have to write 15 lines. Don't be in that. 
even a one liner could do the trick for you and maybe for someone else who's reading maybe they might read your one liner compared to someone else's 10 15 lines so transition from x y to x read your article think about it and then go back to it maybe social media so you have given yourself another small win like accomplishing your task that you had when to build a routine and then going to social media so when the articles get over you can still read books and if you think it's dark when you get back out of the home you can take a small lamp like this this is a show lamp but i have a i have a proper one as well i can show it across last but not the least let's go to the end of the day this is where you've done your entire day score it's 9 or 10 in the night um and now you're trying to read now this is where this zone is brilliant for one kind of reading and disastrous for the other kind zone number 5 end of the day is brilliant for fiction reading you had a long day at work you are now tired you want to just indulge in creative thoughts you could read fiction books novels fiction romance novels uh, crime thriller of course this is where most of the fiction readers you know they go over the board they end up reading for hours and hours and then they they sacrifice their sleep they sleep at one or two in the night and because they could not get rid of the book and now next day morning they have to get up at 6 or 7 in the morning because the next day will not wait for anyone else and now they are tired they are less sleep so they are already you know grumpy so do not overdo if you are even trying to read fiction in our setup predominantly we are going to read non fiction eventually we will read fiction if you hang in there uh, if you continue your, your uh, journey with the readers 2.0 so we will get to fiction not at this stage but eventually and all of the philosophy that i talk about fiction is not going overboard read in a calibrated manner so that the book becomes part of you not just getting a tick uh, checklist that i completed this fiction book and next 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 a lot of fiction readers do that i don't want any one of you to do that um so coming back to non fiction at this point in time you're low on energy you're tired you may be thinking what uh, mahendra singh dhoni and virat kohli are we know up to uh, on the jinnah swami stadium uh, your mind is already is distracted people around you are you know enjoying and stuff uh, maybe if you have kids at home they are also at high at energy stuff they want you your time at this point of time it will be very difficult for you to even pick a book for that matter if your child is asking to play with them after a long day that you spent with your work colleagues and now even if you pick up a book um when they want your attention when they want you to play with them then you have done yourself injustice and this and that mission injustice if, if they want to play with you play with them but if they want to read you know you be the role model and they pick up the book they will also pick up the book so it works both ways around but in the last time zone 5 end of the day you will not be able to read uh their dense stuff say if you are reading uh energy article if you're trying to read you know how you spend your 60 hours in a weekend uh you've already like saturday night half of the weekend is gone and you're still like eh, half of the weekend is gone so why do i need to bother about it deliberate practice colors of chemistry um japan scissors you won't feel any of it if you're trying to read so late in the night you'd rather spend time on social media and you should because now you want to give yourself a little bit of entertainment uh, not or anything excess of anything is bad so these are five zones of reading and i when in this program i don't want to be this person that i don't i only want you to read at start of the day i don't want to become that person who's only the morning person guy uh, ignorant of the night people if zone 5 works for you great okay uh, be you know go ahead and prove me wrong as well uh, i'll be more than happy that you built a habit of reading non fiction in the night zone 5 uh, because that's that's what matters but if you are someone who is, has seen this zone 5 where you distracted by everything else you are low on energy you understand what i'm trying to get at try to read earlier in the day the earlier in the day you tackle the the eat the frog the better you will feel because hey i got my work done and then you'll have the rest of the day to think about it who knows you read something today and then you can apply it at work or at personal life or both and it you don't your day turn out to be great what is the first thing that you will think of hey let me try this second day as well that is so a single article could end up becoming a breakthrough moment for your personal and professional life and even both and that is what we are trying to get at we are not here to just build a habit of reading we are here to help ourselves conquer the bigger stuff move towards excellence win our days at work at home our professional life personal life just by the virtue of reading
So that's what I want you to understand and try to implement. In week two, that is going to start for tomorrow. Apply the zones of reading. If you have any questions, just let us, let me know in the comments or in the group itself. Okay. And hey, last but not the least, if you've still not given me a follow on my YouTube channel, please do so. It will mean the world to me. Thank you very much for watching this. And I hope you have good luck with applica application of the five zones of reading. Let me know how it works out for you.